Hi, first grade. Happy Monday. Hope you're having a good day today um, and that you had a great weekend with your family. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020, and we're going to be practicing today reading some words. We're going to practice with our trick words, and we're going to learn a new pattern, um, a spelling pattern. So if we come across words with this pattern, we know how to tap them out. So let's take a look at our objectives today. We have two of them. So the first one, we can read words with vowel teams using the letter keyword sound poster and the strategy of tapping them out. We use that strategy to read most of our words. So let's go over it again. I say, you say. We can read words with vowel teams using the letter keyword sound poster and the strategy of tapping them out. Great job, first grade. All right, let's take a look at our second objective. We can read new trick words by practicing them in sentences and using a slide show. Okay, I say, you say. We can read new trick words by practicing them in sentences and using a slideshow. Awesome job, first graders. So these are the two things that we will do today. We are going to start by learning about vowel teams. Let me highlight that for us because that's an important spelling pattern that we need to know. Okay, vowel teams. Do you remember our five vowel letters? Let's say them together. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U are our five vowel letters. And when we talk about vowel teams, they are two vowel letters together that make one sound. So let's go back and let's think about blends, which we've been practicing a lot. Blends are two consonant letters. And how many sounds do those consonant letters make? That's right, they each make their own sound. So they that make two sounds. That's what a blend is. Two consonant letters that each make their own sound. Let me see. Um, okay. Blends two consonant letters that make two sounds. So if we're saying T-R, T-R, we can say T-R. They each hold their own sound. Let's talk now about what vowel teams are. So let's write vowel teams, two vowel letters that make one sound. So they're 
not going to get two taps, like a blend when we tap them out. They get one tap together. They make one sound, okay? So that's the difference. Let's take a look. We're gonna practice two vowel teams today. And they both make the same sound. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so everyone can see. So the way that we're going to practice these two vowel teams is I'm going to tell you the letter, keyword, and sound, and then you repeat, okay? So I hope you can see these vowel teams. I know it's a little bit blurry, but this is the best I could do. You can see the picture is a little worm on a hook, like someone's going fishing. When you have something on a hook for the fish to catch, for the fish to eat, it's called bait. Okay, can you say bait? Yeah, so the way that this goes, it's A, I, bait, A. Now you say it. Good, one more time, both of us together. A, I, bait, A. Good, when you see the letters A, I together, it says A. What does it say? Good, just like we're saying the name of the letter A, it says A. Good. In the same way, I can see the picture for this one, this vowel team, is a boy playing a game. So the way that this works, these are two letters together. And I said a vowel team is two vowel letters. Sometimes we call the letter Y a vowel. We haven't talked about that too much in first grade, but sometimes the letter Y is a vowel as well. So let's say those letters. A, Y, play, A. Good, one more time, both of us together. A, Y, play, A. Both of these vowel teams, A, I, and A, Y, say A just like you're saying the name of the letter A. Um, we're going to practice reading some words that have these two vowel teams, and I've highlighted them here for us, okay? So remember the vowel team AI says A, you say it. So now if I'm tapping it out, it says B, Eight. Bait. Now you try. Eight. Bait. Very good. So it's important to just have your brain recognize when you see AI together, you're going to sound it out by saying A, not A, and not I. It's going to say A. Okay, let's try another one. You probably know this word. Look, it begins with a blend. P and L together. Pull A. Play. You try. Pull A play. Very good. I can see my vowel team, A-Y. I know it says A, and I can see pull, P-L, pull, A, play. Very good. Let's do one more. Here's A-I again in the middle of the word. And what does A-I say? right it says a so let's practice tapping it out 
fingers up. A O sail sail. Like I'm going to go sailing. I will go sail on my boat. Here's my nice picture of a boat. Sailboat. A O sail. Very good. Last one. I see it begins with another blend. T R Tur. You say it. Tur a tray. Like I carry my tray with my lunch to the table. Tray. Tur a tray. Very good. We're not going to practice spelling these words yet too much, but if you are reading a book and you see a Y or a I, now you know how to tap them out, okay? Now you know that that's a vowel team, two vowels together that make one sound, and you know the sound they make. They say A. What do they say? Good job, friends. Okay, so we have done the first part of our objective. We've talked about um, vowel teams. Now we are going to go and practice our trick words. Okay, so we're gonna go through our slideshow, practice the ones that we already know, and then we're gonna learn two new trick words today. Okay. Let's begin here. I'm going to give three snaps just like we practiced, and then I say the word. If you know the word right away, say it now before I get there. You're trying to beat Miss Makadia. Ready? Put. What is his do does or for as has where there here you your why, by, my, try. We, he, she, be, me. Two. Into. From. Have. One was and when to who were said. They of are to also very could, should, would. Her over number. And now here are our two new words for today. The top one says say. The bottom one is says. Let's say them together. Say, says. 
we use these words when someone is talking. So we could say, I say, they say, we say. Let's spell them together. S A Y. Oh my gosh. Does this have one of our vowel teams in it? A Y says A. A say. S A Y say. Says. So we could say I say, but we say he says or she says, okay? Let's spell says, S-A-Y-S. The way that we say this word is we say says. Can you say that? Says. So even though it has that vowel team, we can't tap this one out because it doesn't sound the same. We say says. All right. Let's practice our two new trick words in a sentence. I would like to know how many of those in the slideshow did you know? Were you able to beat me on most of the words? If you're still practicing many of them, then you should watch this over and over and practice because we want to know these words in a snap really fast. Okay. I'm going to go back and I'm going to practice with you our two new trick words. Um, let's see. Let's write a sentence. Here is my sentence. I say that is great. Let's put the words on our fingers. I say that is great. How many words are in my sentence? I say that is great. There are five words. So I'm going to make five lines. I say that. is great. Okay, got my five lines here. Now I'm gonna write the words in my sentence. I say, That is great. Okay, now I'm going to go through because. I want to make sure, because this is what someone is saying, we put these little lines. Let me highlight them for us. When we're talking about something that someone is saying out loud, we put two little um, lines around the sentence that they're saying. So I said, that is great. So since this is what I said, I put these quotation marks around my sentence, okay? And I have to put a capital letter around the first word that I said out loud. So that's why I have an uppercase T right here. Now I'm going to circle a word. I'm going to read my sentence over again, and I want you to tell me which word I circled. So follow along with your eyes watching the sentence. I say, that is great. 
what word did I circle right here? If you said say, give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome job. Yes, it's our new word, say. Now I'm going to change the sentence. I'm going to write, she says, that is great. Let's put the words on our fingers. She says, that is great. I still have five words. Okay, so I'm going to make five more lines. One. Two, three, four, five. And I draw these lines so that I remember not to leave any words out of my sentence. Okay? She says that is great. Let me write it. I know how to write she because it's one of my trick words. And I make sure to start with an uppercase letter. She says. Now, next is the part that she's talking out loud. So I'm going to put my quotation marks here. That is great. And I'm putting my quotation marks at the end too to let the reader know that my sentence is over, what the person was saying out loud. Okay, so these are my quotation marks. Here's my sentence. I'm going to circle a word and read it again, and I want you to tell me which word I circled. She says, that is great. What word did I circle right here? If you said says, give your brain a kiss. Mwah, awesome job. Says, very good. All right. What I'm going to have you all do at home, if you have a piece of paper and a writing utensil, whatever kind you have at home, pen, pencil, marker, crayon, I would like you to use our new trick words in one sentence each, okay? So let's talk about some sentence starters. You can start your sentence like this. When you're using say, you could say, I say, and then finish the sentence. You could say, they say, and then finish the sentence. You could say, we say. When you're using says, you could say, he says, if you're talking about something a boy says. You could say, she says, if you're talking about something a girl says. So these are some good ways to start your sentence. I want to see if you guys can remember how to make those little quotation marks around the sentence that the person says out loud. What they are saying out loud gets those two little quotation marks. I use my fingers to remind me what they look like two little marks around the sentence, okay? See if you can do that. You only pick one. So you don't have to write all of these sentences. That's a lot of sentences. You pick one from the top to show that you can use say in a sentence. And you pick one from the bottom to show that you can use says in a sentence. So all together, you should have two sentences written at home and that's it, okay? Easy peasy. All right, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll be back tomorrow.
Thank you.